Detroit by Tyler Childers is going to be played in drop D tuning and then capoed on the second fret of the guitar. If you don't know what drop D tuning is, it's where you take your sixth string and you lower the pitch of it so that it's the same note as your fourth string, it is just one octave lower. And then capoing the second fret, I will be playing out of D formation. I will be referring to all of these chords even though technically uh, this D shape on the second fret is, an, is a real E. I'll be referring to all these chords and frets as though the capo is the nut. So a D-shaped chord I'll call a D, and then frets like 2, 3, and 4 instead of frets 4, 5, and 6 as they actually are. Alright, so the first chord will be a big D chord with this low end uh, D in it. Your first finger needs to be on the 3 string 2 fret, your ring finger needs to be on the 2 string 3 fret, you'll have an open 1 string strum down to the open one string. Let me go ahead and talk about the strumming here. The strumming is a triplet, basically like a three strum. You're going one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Very slowly, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that basically, um, yeah, instead of, even though the measures are kind of running, I think, in four, your strum is a triplet strum. One, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, one, triplet, 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 triplet. Down up, 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 down up. And sometimes the accents may be happening on a down, sometimes they may be happening on the up, but really it's just a real solid, chunky, driving strum. So, D chord. To an A minor 7, you'll have an open 5 string, your second finger will be on the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret. So whenever this A minor 7 first gets strummed, it gets strummed from the open 5 string down to the open 1 string. But then you can hear Tyler Childers put his, I assume would probably be his pinky finger down on the one string three fret. So you want to do the same thing there. D chord to the A7, pinky down on the one string three fret, and then you're going to walk to a C chord by going open five string, second finger to the five string two fret, ring finger to the five string three fret, all the while leaving your first and pinky fingers pretty much where they were uh, from that a minor 7 chord and then you're going to hammer on with your second finger to the 4 string 2 fret and then hit the open 3 string. That's going to sound like this very slowly from the beginning D to the A minor 7 so hear how that hammer on happened delayed the walk up into a G chord. The G chord will be shaped differently since we're in drop D tuning. Uh, what Tyler Childers does is out of the C chord, remember that your first finger is still on the two string one fret and your pinky finger is on the one string three fret. What he does is he moves uh, with his, I assume he does it this way, there's no video, I'm just assuming based on how I've seen him play this style uh, with other songs but moves with ring finger to the 6 string 3 fret, pinky finger to the 5 string 3 fret, leaving your first finger where it is on the 2 string 1 fret. You hit that chord once, but you don't really hit it so that it rings out. This is a relative F chord, by the way. But we don't really want this chord to ring out for long. We're just hitting it so that we get a contrast as we slide into the G chord, which is going to be take the shape and just slide it up 2 frets very quickly so that you get your ring finger on the 5 string 5 fret, pinky finger on, I'm sorry, ring finger on the 6 string 5 fret, pinky finger on the 5 string 5 fret, open 4, open 3, uh, second finger now on the 2 string 3 fret, and you probably want to avoid the open 1 string in both of these chords. And then it just kind of holds on that G chord for a second. 
then going back into the D, you can hear it, sometimes it just slides back down to the F chord, but it sounds usually that he's grabbing the 6th string 2 fret, pulling that note, and then opening up the 6th string, going back into the D chord. Then you've got another round of, of this is the intro and the first. Sometimes that G holds longer than other I th others. I think in the intro it just holds for one measure and then goes to the F, pull, and D. But sometimes in the verse it'll hold for two rounds. Also, let me just go ahead and mention this. Inside of this D-shaped chord, you've got a little box of notes here that all are kind of just fair game and sound good. Actually, let me add this too. I should have mentioned that Tyler Childers hammers on into this D chord by starting with an open three string and hammering the first finger to the three string two fret. So anyway, the box I'm talking about that is all just kind of fair game in this D chord will be open three string, three string two fret, um, four string three fret, four string open, five string three fret, five string open, six string three fret, six string open. Like any sort of combination of those notes all just kind of sound good inside of that D chord. So I'm, I'm rambling. I've already talked about the verse, the A minor, uh, the D to A minor to C to G. That's the verse and uh, that's the verse too. So there's a chorus or a bridge. I'm not quite sure how to think about it, but there's a change that happens about halfway through the song and it's the F chord sliding up to the G chord, F, 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 G, 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 then the D chord. And I think that there's a distinct like pull off from the five string three fret into the D chord there, but F, 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 G, 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 D. Repeat, F, 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 G, 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 D. And the second go around, I can hear Tyler Childers distinctly playing the D as a D minor and kind of building on it. Uh, that would be, D minor would be 2nd finger on the 3 string 2 fret, pinky finger on the 2 string 3 fret, 1st finger on the 1 string 1 fret, strumming just the open 6, open 5, and open 4 strings on the bottom if you want to. And then F, 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 G, G with your triplet strum, F, 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 G, 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 uh, then into the D, and then it's like another, I think there's maybe a lead break that happens there of the D, A minor, C, and G, and then there's more just D, A minor, C, and G that takes place. Uh, that slide right there, keep that in mind, that happens sometimes randomly, like in the G chord, it will slide into the G chord and hold the G chord and then jump back down to the F just to pop one more slide back up to the G chord. Also, lastly, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, this whole song is being played with two guitars. I'm modeling what I've shown you here after the guitar that I can hear in, uh, or most distinctly in the left channel and in the right channel is kind of a leadish guitar, which I don't know if it's playing in drop D tuning. I haven't tried to figure it out, but that second guitar may be capoed on the fourth fret in standard tuning, playing out of C-shape formations. Uh, but anyway, those are the chords and the movements to Detroit by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.